everyone, my name is Vanessa. I'm a student and research assistant at the Niederrhein University. Within a master's course and in cooperation with the virtual lab, I developed a virtual mini collection which I would like to present to you. My presentation is split into two parts. The first part is about the idea and the virtual development. The second part focuses on the real development of an outfit from the collection. The collection I developed is for the imaginary brand Aquarius for curious, freedom-loving and rebellious people. It is inspired by the summer and the festival season as shown on the mood board. The colors are mainly based on the shades of the sunset. All these impressions added up to make my own print design. On this slide you can see the avatars I used. I did three body scans and compared the measurements to each other. Based on the results I decided that the Andrew scan is the most fitting. In CLO I converted the scan avatar to the CLO avatars which you can see here. I captured the visual parameters with Visu and Xtex to get a realistic presentation of the fabric. For the physical parameters I used the belonging testing kit. In the end I used all of these MAPC and CLO for my garment. For the pattern of my outfits, I proceeded differently. There are some patterns I created with Graphis and imported, imported to CLO. For some, I modified the basic t-shirt of CLO and I also used basic blocks out of Graphis, which I modified in CLO. On this slide, you can see the Blanco concept of my collection. As you can see, uh, as you can see there are some tops and blouses, but also dresses, even a body and a jacket. Next up, I want to show you the collection in its main colors and the different colorways. The, re the print represents the main theme and therefore appears through the entire collection. I created different colorways which I applied to the various outfits of the collection. I would like to highlight this outfit again as this was also created as a real product. Here's a short film of the avatar in the outfit which shows the fit and the fall of the material. At the end of the virtual product development, I made renderings of the details. They show zippers, trims and all the small and important parts. Now I want to talk about the real product development. In preparation, I also did a virtual fitting where I focused on the fit and the design of the garment. Based on that, I made appropriate changes to the pattern. To have a better look at the outfit that was developed in the process, I made a schematic render of the simulation. As you can see, the outfit consists of a red blouse and a white shirt. The print I designed is inspired by a festival sky. For the design process, I used Adobe Photoshop. After that, in the printing process, the design was first printed on a transfer paper by SAPI. Calendars I used to transfer the paint under pressure and heat from the paper to the fabric. Due to the printing parameters, the width of the fabric was reduced to 1 meter and 10 centimeters, which becomes clear in the marker. Now that the outfit is soon, I would like to compare the simulation with the real product. It is noticeable that the posture on the, on the avatar is too perfect and the creases are more visible in real life than in the sim simulation due to the nature of material. All in all, however, the simulation is a very realistic and reflects the design and fit very well. In my opinion, the technical background in CLO is missing. For instance, when I changed something in the pattern, I always had to do the changes in another program before importing it again to, into CLO. In addition to that, I think knots and buttons as well as the manual testing are still a bit challenging for the user. To mention the manual testing, there are always inaccuracies because of the human hand. Apart from that, CLO is a very versatile application with great opportunities for design and visual appearance. I think, for example, the marketing area of the e-commerce could really profit from the system. For me, 3D in the apparel industry has always been an opportunity to make the industry more flexible and sustainable. And because the 3D field is consistently growing, it is especially especially important for me to learn and be able to use this system. That was the little insight into my virtual collection development. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for this opportunity to present here and of course thank you for your attention during the presentation.